What's going on, guys? Your boy Joey Shake72 coming you guys with a video right now. Um, kind of want to go over a little free agency discussion. Um, you know, tomorrow's free agency. Um, I mean, in two days, uh, free agency starts on Wednesday, and uh, the tampering period began today at 12 o'clock. So, other teams could talk to soon to be free agents. All right, so I'm just going to go through some of the things that we know that's really going to happen. Um, most likely, Mike Nigel Bradham is going to be gone. We all know what's going to happen with him. He's got a lot of teams after him right now. And, uh, you know, God bless him wherever he goes. Um, you know, so good luck to him and everything. I, it's probably one of the guys I really didn't want to leave off this team. I said I want either Patrick Robinson or Nigel Bradham to stay. Whatever. We'll see what happens. But good luck to Nigel Bradham. Patrick Robinson is expected to re-sign with the Eagles. Don't know what the deal is. Nothing is out yet, but he is expected a return, um, which I'm actually surprised because after the uh, the Daryl Worley, Torrey Smith trade from uh, Carolina, I thought that, you know, with Worley coming, I thought that was going to replace Patrick Robinson coming in. And then, uh, but that's not the case. You're going to have Patrick Robinson and uh, Daryl Worley coming right in. And that's, and I'm actually excited about that. And I'm actually feeling really good about that um, at the, at the sec in the secondary, at the corner spot, especially. Um, you know, Sidney Jones coming back, you know, his first offseason where he's not rehabbing and he's actually going to go out there and do his thing. Um, so there's a lot, a lot, we're going to have, we're going to be seeing a lot of stuff, um, you know, coming in the coming days. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. Michael Kendricks, I don't know. Sounds like he will get traded. I have no idea. No reports have really gone out about Michael Kendricks in a trade. Um, but corner-wise, we're going to have some type of trade. Um, speaking of corner like we just did before, um, you know, Patrick Robinson is likely to re-sign. Probably say it's about a, a two-year deal, probably something like that. I don't know. Um, could be a two-year deal, most likely. You keep him here. You know, he's 31 years old, so you got to keep that into account as well. Um... So we go to Nick Foles. What's going on with that? Nick Foles, apparently a report came out today that, you know, the Eagles would like a first round pick. The Eagles have gotten multiple offers for Nick Foles. So the offers have been coming. Um, but, you know, nobody wants to give up a first round pick for the Super Bowl MVP. Um, you know, so they don't want to take a chance on Nick Foles. They probably think he's a flash in the pan. They're not getting the deal that they want for Nick Foles. So instead of getting rid of him and put the five million in cap, they're probably going to keep him. Um, it, it sounds like they're going to keep him. I don't think Nick Foles is going to get traded, especially with Carson Wentz's injury and everything. I think Nick Foles stays in Philly. Um, I don't think he's going anywhere unless something really comes up. Unless it comes up during the season, unless it comes up right before someone gets hurt right before the season starts. I do not see Nick Foles getting traded whatsoever at this part, uh, part of time. Um it's just, you know, I look at the Bills. I saw a report from the Bills. The Bills are going after Sam Braffer and Case Keenum. They're interested in Sam Braffer, Case Keenum. And I'm like, okay, you know, now they're going to go the cheaper route and have one of them as their QBs, which, you know, both of them suck balls anyway um, and can't get them anywhere. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen with that. But the Cardinals is probably the only team. The Arizona Cardinals is probably the only team that I see that the if really that the Eagles will trade with. And I, I think the Cardinals are on a really like a, a good rebuild. You know what I mean? And and they want to pick the right guy. And uh, if they, they know at you know at pick fifteen, they're not going to pick the right guy at pick fifteen in the draft first round. Not going to happen. So you know they go out and get a free agent. They could get a Case Keenum. They could get a Sam Bradford. They could get Nick Foles. Um, so the Cardinals is probably the only team I think that's really going to, I don't know. I don't know if they even offered anything yet. I have no idea. Um, but we'll see. Um, you know, so there's a lot up in the air right now, but you know, I sense a really big move from the Eagles coming really soon. Um, we need a deep threat in this free agency. We need somebody. Um, I said, Paul Richardson, I said, Martavius Bryant. And also, you know, another look that they have to do is, um, is John Brown as well from the Cardinals, a guy that had a good two years. His first two years were amazing in Arizona, but you know how that team is with the quarterback play. I mean, you know how much Alshon Jeffrey got better when he's not with Jay Cutler. He's actually with a very good quarterback. You know what I mean? So there's a there's a huge difference being on this team than it is being on the Cardinals or a team like Chicago Bears when Jay Cutler was on it. Um, so... You know, John Brown's another guy, and he's and he's torched us. You know, the last time we played the Cardinals in what fourteen, he fucking torched us badly. I think he had two touchdowns on us. Could be wrong. Um, 
So there's a, there's a lot that could happen right now. So, you know, between P-Rob coming back, Darby is definitely going to be on the way out. So expect Ronald Darby to be gone. Um, you know, Darby was, you know, he wasn't worth the third round pick that we gave for him, you know, to the Bills. Um, we should have got, we should have, you know, we were in need of a, of a corner and they were, you know what I mean? They want, you know, we trade Jordan Matthews. We got Ronald Darby and, you know, he missed a good part of the season. So, um, you know, he missed a good, you know, half of the season. And then on top of everything else, um, you know, he just, you know, I don't know if he wasn't back to his normal self or maybe that's how he really plays. You know, of all this 4.3 speed that Darby has, man, too much cushion off the receivers and, uh, you know, really just bad angles on, on staying in cover. And he's too small. I mean, on top of everything else, he's way too small. He's not even average height um, for a corner. He's really, he's too small. You know, you see how, how easy it was for Gronk to catch a touchdown in the Super Bowl. He can't cover. I mean, it's it's like, impo I mean, he's he's got no size. So I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, Darby is definitely going to be on the way out. Um, so, you know, there's a lot that could happen. So, you know, 14 million, <laughs> 14 million on, uh, over the cap is, is absolutely difficult to even think about. Ty Roseman's going to have to pull a rabbit out of the hat and do something, you know, pretty damn, it's going to have to wow us. Um, you know, there's a lot of guys going on the market this year, especially, you know, um, you know, you don't want to pay too much for a receiver, of course, because we've already, we're already doing that now. Um, you know what I mean? So there's a lot that we have to do. You know, Jason Peters is not going anywhere. I already made a video on that. Jason Peters is going to stay at 10.6 million cap hit next year. Kind of crazy that they kept him. I'm surprised they kind of didn't really kind of figure that they want to trade him. But I guess he's staying. Um, but, you know, we'll see what happens by that time. But um, it's getting pretty crazy now. You know, over, being 14 million over the cap is not where I want to be right now. But I know how he will fix this. You know, I have no doubt in my mind Howie Roseman's already done two really good trades trading for Michael Bennett Marcus Johnson a fifth round pick getting uh, uh, Michael Bennett and a seventh round pick there is already a rumor going around now in a report that Martellus Bennett Michael Bennett's brother might be coming to Philly I don't know if that's the case um, he's a veteran tight end you know he's got size he can catch unbelievable passes he's he's you know, with a good quarterback, I think Martellus Bennett could really do some damage here in Philly. Um, you know what I mean? Not not the most, you know, not the fastest guy in the world, but he'll get open. He'll use his size, and he's a bigger, um, and he's a bigger, you know, tight end. So we'll see what happens with that. I was going to make a separate video on that, but I said, ah, you know what, whatever, because it's only two days away. Let me just try to do some free agency discussion right now. Um, so that's where I'm going with that. Um, running back wise, I don't know because I don't, I, I haven't heard any news about like Garrett Blunt. Not even one thing. I haven't heard any news whatsoever. Not one damn thing. Absolutely nothing. I haven't heard anything. Um, I, I think like Garrett Blunt could be gone. Uh, Darren Sproles, I don't know. I think they should bring him back. I have no idea, um, at all. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, Tavon Austin's another guy that they could sign, but Tavon Austin, I, I would love to have Tavon Austin here for special teams, especially for kick returns. He could be a really good kick returner with his speed that he has. I'd only use him for that. I wouldn't use him as a, as a wide out. Keep that wide receiver for a few years, some way that we can, you know, maybe get the cap situated and maybe pay two guys, two receivers, you know, going forward. Um, but the most, most importantly, I want to see if this team actually trades for, um, a linebacker so I mean there's one linebacker that I could see the Eagles could be going for because you know they could trade um you know they could trade Vinnie Curry to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to go get Quan Alexander and Quan Alexander is only what he's only two million against the cap this next coming season so he's going to be pretty damn cheap not really expensive um they can make a lot of moves I'm just waiting. I know we should go, you know, I know we got the draft and everything, but not having a second, third round pick right now kind of hurts and kind of sucks right now. Um, so we'll see what happens by that time. But uh, like I said, I just talked about Vinnie Curry. Vinnie Curry is, pro is definitely out the door. Michael Bennett coming in, Vinnie Curry coming out. Um, they're not keeping them both, of course. Um, so that's definitely not happening. Vinnie Curry needs to, um, he needs to, he's getting overpaid way too much. 
And, <clears throat> you know, Michael Bennett is a huge upgrade. Eight and a half sacks. More durable D-end in this league. Um, and everyone thinks he's expensive, which he's not. He's only 1.6 against the cap next year. Um, and then the year after that, he's a lot more, a little bit. Like, I think like $6 million the next year. So we're probably gonna, he's probably a one-year rental, probably, most likely. Um, so we'll see by that time. Uh, free agency on Wednesday. I don't know when actually it starts, where trades are actually happening. Everything is finalized. I think I think if I remember, it was like between. I think it was like four o'clock in the afternoon. Could be wrong though. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so how he's got to make some moves, and uh, I'm not expecting a splash, but I'm expecting at least one splash. Something that's uh, we're gonna entice somebody to be on this team this year, and it's gonna be a wideout. And I think they're gonna get the wideout that they need um, because they, you know, I don't think the Eagles think Matt Collins is ready for the role for the deep threat. I think he's gonna be that backup receiver that we, you know, we need behind. You know, in case someone needs a breather or whatnot, he comes in like he did this year and does his thing, gets a few passes, makes every, and he's made everything of every catch that he's gotten. Um, so there's a lot that goes into that. Um, so what I'm looking for in free agency, uh, Wednesday is pretty much getting a deep threat and, um, maybe trading for a linebacker and at least, you know, and, and getting rid of as much cap as possible and, and getting up there 4.3 for Torrey Smith would be 4.3 for Kendricks if he's gone. And, um, you know, very thin at linebacker of course, cause I don't trust Najee Good or Joe Walker sitting there, um, you know, but we'll we'll see by when the time comes. But that's pretty much all I really got to say about everything. I don't know if I missed anybody. No, I don't think I missed anyone. Um, so, P. Rob coming back is probably one of the most important ones that, uh, you know, I'm glad he's coming back and he really did really well in this system. And with a better pass rush with Michael Bennett on the line now, um, you know, uh, Daryl Worley, he's – Never been beaten by double moves. Last year he got double moved a lot of times. Never got beaten once by a double move. Um, and uh, he's a big guy. He's like a, he's like a Rasul Douglas. He's big. He's like 6'1", a little over 200 pounds, and, get, and and can get it done. So we'll see what happens. So um, let me know. What do you think are, are, What do you think a move we have to make at free agency You know, by Wednesday and see what's going to happen? Um, like I said, Nick Foles, I don't think he's going anywhere. They're not getting the deal that they want. So I see Nick Foles just staying on this team, and uh, and that's really it, um, you know, because Carson Wentz, I mean, everyone, they know, you know, a report came out like a week or two ago, and Carson Wentz should be ready by week one. But they need to be cautious, just like bringing Sidney Jones back week six or seven. He was ready week six or seven, and they literally said, nope, we're going to play the last game of the year, and they were being very cautious. So I'm glad our team's actually cautious. I'm glad they're not forcing players to play. Um, and force them on the field, which is great, especially our franchise quarterback. We got to keep him as you know as healthy as get him to 100 percent as possible. So that's pretty much it. That's really all I got to say about that. So um, let me know what you think about free agency. I'm going to be holding a. I'm kind of debating whether to hold a. Um, I'm going to do. I'm going to do a uh, free agency live Google Hangout open to all Eagles fans the night before. Um, the night before free agency, um, which is the 13th, which is Tuesday night. Um, so I'm going to do that. Probably I was going to do it during free agency period. I might do a little live stream during the day on free agency, not when it hits, when we're, the trades start happening. I'm going to kind of go like maybe two or th an hour or two before free agency hits. Um, and we'll see what happens. So, um, I'll let you guys know. I'll send some notifications. I'll let you guys know, and that's about it. So, shake squad up. Fly, let's fly. Peace.